Hello, you are on the True Storia channel. The War of the Spanish Succession is a major military conflict that lasted from 1701 to 1714. The fighting took place in Western and Southern Europe, as well as in the colonies and at sea. The conflict was caused by the rivalry of the Bourbon and Habsburg dynasties for political hegemony in Europe. The reason for the war was the absence of a direct heir to the Spanish throne after the death of King Charles II. The reign of Charles II was a time of deep political and economic crisis in Spain. Separatism intensified in the provinces, the population often suffered from severe hunger. The treasury was empty, and at the Madrid court there was a constant struggle of aristocratic groups. The Habsburg dynasty was divided into two branches, the Austrian and the Spanish. By the end of the 17th century, the empire of the Austrian Habsburgs, in addition to Austria, also included Hungary, Bohemia, Transylvania, Silesia and some other territories. In addition, the ruler of Austria was usually elected as the Holy Roman Emperor. The Spanish Habsburgs ruled in Spain and also had possessions in Italy, the southern Netherlands and had extensive overseas colonies. Charles II belonged to the Spanish line of the dynasty. He had serious health problems. Charles was infertility and could not leave behind a direct heir to the throne. He also had no brothers, there were only two sisters, Maria Theresa and Margaret Theresa. All this led to the suppression of the Spanish branch of the Habsburgs and gave rise to claims to the Spanish throne from other relatives. King of France Louis XIV of Bourbon, married to the sister of Charles II, Maria Theresa, claimed the rights to the Spanish throne of his grandson Philippi, Duke of Anjou. Holy Roman Emperor Leopold I of Habsburg, husband of another sister of the Spanish king, Margaret Theresa, proposed the candidacy of his son Charles. Maximilian II Emmanuel, elector of Bavaria, declared his son Joseph Ferdinand, grandson of Leopold I, as heir. The coronation of Bourbon or Habsburg meant a rapprochement or even a merger of Spain with France or Austria, respectively. In this regard, the candidacy of Joseph Ferdinand of Bavaria, who belonged to the House of Wittelsbach, seemed the most neutral. In 1698, King of France Louis XIV and King of England William of Orange entered into an agreement recognizing Joseph Ferdinand as heir to the throne. At the same time, the Spanish possessions in Italy and the Netherlands were to be divided between France and Austria. However, in 1699, at the age of six, the heir died unexpectedly of smallpox. After the death of Joseph Ferdinand, a new agreement was signed, according to which Karl Habsburg was declared the heir to the Spanish throne, and France received Spanish possessions in Italy. The Austrians and Spaniards, who did not participate in the signing of the treaty, opposed its terms. Shortly before the death of Charles II, the French lobby convinced him to appoint Philippe of Anjou as his successor. In 1700, he ascended the throne under the name of Philip V. After that, Louis XIV denounced the treaties on the division of Spanish possessions and declared his grandson heir to the French throne. It meant that King of France intended to unite both countries under one crown. The plans of Louis XIV met with serious resistance from European states. England, Dutch Republic and Austria made an alliance against France and soon declared war. Later, Prussia, Portugal, the most of the German states, as well as the former ally of France, the Duchy of Savoy, joined the anti-French coalition. Sweden, Russia and Poland at that time were busy participating in the Great Northern War. The Ottoman Empire, weakened by recent defeats from Austria and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, remained neutral. The war took place not only in Europe, but also in the colonies. The North American theater of the War of the Austrian Succession is often referred to as the Queen Anne's War. Named after Anne Stuart, who was Queen of England at the time. Soon after the outbreak of hostilities, a clear advantage of the Allies was indicated. France suffered a series of heavy defeats. 
the English fleet captured Gibraltar and the island of Menorca. In 1706-1707 Austrian troops occupied Milan and Naples, the French army were forced out of northern Italy. Charles Habsburg proclaimed himself King of Spain, occupied Aragon, Catalonia and Valencia. In 1709, the Anglo-Austrian Dutch army under the command of Prince Eugene of Savoy and the English Duke of Marlborough defeated the French at the Battle of Malplaquet. However, disagreements soon began in the camp of the Allies. This allowed France to avoid complete defeat in the war. Great Britain began to lean towards making peace with the French. In 1711, negotiations began between the countries. The British government was concerned about Russia's success in the Great Northern War and hoped, with the assistance of France, to prevent the final defeat of Sweden. In addition, the countries of the anti-French coalition were afraid of the excessive strengthening of the Habsburgs, who sought to unite the Austrian and Spanish possessions under their rule. In 1712 a peace congress opened in Utrecht. Already during the negotiations, the troops of Marshal General of France de Villers defeated the army of Eugene of Savoy in the Battle of Denain. This helped to strengthen the position of France in the negotiations. In 1713 the Peace of Utrecht was concluded. Charles Habsburg, who in 1711 became ruler of Austria and Holy Roman Emperor, tried to continue the war. But already in 1714 he was forced to sign the Rastit and Baden peace treaties with France. The result of the War of the Spanish Succession was the recognition of Philip V as King of Spain in exchange for his renunciation of claims to the French throne. Austrian Habsburg monarchy received from Spain the Kingdom of Naples, Sardinia, part of Tuscany, the Duchy of Milan and the Spanish Netherlands. Great Britain acquired Gibraltar. Menorca and part of the French possessions in North America. In addition, the British received a monopoly on the slave trade in the Spanish colonies. The Dutch Republic won the right to maintain garrisons in a number of cities and fortified points in the Austrian Netherlands. Savoy acquired Sicily and some other lands. Prussia received territorial increments, which became a kingdom and strengthened its influence in northern Germany. France's political dominance on the continent ended. Greatly increased the colonial power of Great Britain. Austria sharply strengthened its position in Europe. Spain, having lost territories in Italy and the Netherlands, became a minor power in matters of European politics. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. A lot of interesting things are ahead.